figure skating is a blend of many, many things. We need the balance of a gymnast, the elegance of a ballerina, the speed of a speed skater. Everything has to go well together and we have to do it on the ice and look good at the same time. I started skating at four, so a lot of my childhood life was in the ring. My mother was the reason why my brothers and I skated. We used to spend about four to five hours a day at the rink. I definitely felt like a second home to us because we just spent like way too much time there. When I was 13, I went to my first international competition. People at that competition were quite confused to see a, a Malaysian skater. Or that Malaysia has ice skating or even an ice rink. Some people didn't even know where Malaysia was. We don't have training facilities. All the rinks in Malaysia are in shopping malls. Which means it's about two-thirds the size of an Olympic-sized rink. It's a little bit more difficult to learn jumps. Just imagine, you know, if you train in a football field, you know, that's three quarters of the size. Because you cannot do the full routine. And you're only doing three quarters of the routine. Figure skating itself is not well known in Malaysia. It's a tropical country and it is a multiracial country. It's a melting pot of different traditions. Therefore, sports is very important because there's no other better platform for national unity. When it comes down to sports, it doesn't matter what race you are because we're always supporting Malaysia. Sports bring us together as a nation, as one. I want to show the world Malaysia can produce a skater like them out there. Our goal at the Nebelhorn Trophy in Germany to qualify for the Winter Olympics. There are six places left to qualify for the Olympics, and there are 26 men here trying to get a spot. Doesn't matter if I'm six or first, as long as I'm top six. The other skaters who are vying for one of those six spots, Belgium, Sweden, the skaters from these two countries were at the last Olympics, so they are very strong. Every competition is the same, I get nervous. Like, it doesn't matter if it's a big competition, a small one. He is quite nervous because he knows what it is all about, right? It's a ticket to the Olympics. It will decide his whole future. Nerves just get you, I think, just being human. But I'm quite excited and nervous at the same time, you know, that kind of feeling. You need a little bit of being nervous or uh, you're going to be too relaxed. My mom is probably just as nervous as I am. Sometimes she gets even more nervous than me. My mom is the best mom there is out there. She sacrificed a lot of time from herself to travel with me skating. She's my best friend. She's my mom. She's my manager. She's always there for me. Without her, I don't know what we would do. We made every effort we could to get him the proper training. That meant a lot of sacrifices on the part of the family. We gave up holidays. We sent him out training in China, Bangkok. Skating is a very expensive sport. We feel that this sacrifice is well worth it. Figure skating, it has got so many emotions in it. Some days you really feel excited to go on the ice. Yeah, that's a and one. some days it feels like a chore. No matter how many times you try, you still can't get it right. Which reflects how we go through life. You can't always be happy. I think through figure skating, we're able to express how we feel on that day. Whether it's a sad or a happy feeling.
this has to be a good performance. I have to land my jumps. Germany is the last opportunity to qualify for the 2018 Winter Olympics. I would do almost anything I could to achieve that goal. This is undoubtedly the biggest event in this life. When I stepped onto the ice, I was nervous, really, really nervous. You can definitely feel that all eyes are on you. Thinking that it is a make it or break it moment. I take my starting position. I say my prayers. Skating requires a lot of switching channels in your mind. First of all, we gotta connect with the music, being emotional. Switch channel next, it's going to a spin. Change channel again. Going into a jump, we gotta think, okay, what are the technical aspects of the jump? Land the jump nicely. Change channel again, it's skating. It's a lot of things going in your mind at the same time. At home, because of the time difference. The whole house is awake at four in the morning. Watching on TV, half asleep. Good job, good job, good. Proud of you. Every athlete dreams to go to the Olympics. But coming from a tropical country in a winter sport, I didn't even think I would make it because, like, it didn't add up. Everybody loves fantastic story, the feel-good factor. This is more than a feel-good factor. This is extraordinary. This is the first Malaysian who's going to be taking part in the Winter Olympic Games. The years of hard work, it's finally paid off. It just got louder and louder as we went by and people were shrieking like crazy. It hit me that, okay, this is it. You know, we're here in the Olympics. No matter what happens, getting to the Olympics is an achievement. He has shown to the young skaters that it is possible, and um, I hope he has inspired them. And I'm very proud that he's the first one. It doesn't matter if you come from a country with no snow. Um, it doesn't matter if you come with a country that has no training facilities. When there's a will, there's a way. People will find a way to get to where they want to go. Every athlete dreams to go to the Olympics. But honestly, for me, coming from a tropical country in a winter sport, I didn't even think I would make it. He's the first figure skater from Malaysia to ever qualify for the Olympic Games.
things. The hard work's already done. We managed to get here. It's time for me to just um, let the training take its place and really just enjoy what I do. Everyone should be able to dream. It's just that you have to work for it. You can't just dream and sit down and wait for the dream to come true. And here is the triple lutz. Again, coming down to backwards. The immense amount of pride I felt when I saw our flag. To me, it's like, okay, we, we did our little bit in helping to get our flag up here. Malaysia with sports, it really does bring everyone together. They don't really look at your color so you're in Malaysia. So I find that that's a very good way to unite us as one. And knowing that you as one person are able to bring a country together, I think that's a great feeling. And I hope I can achieve that. I can finally call myself an Olympian now that I skated. <laughs> so I think it's just really a great sense of relief there and, and, and joy. But in the end, he got his season's best. Uh, that was the best we, we, we ever did. And we go from here and see if we, we make it or into now the finals or not. It's a waiting game right now to see if, uh, if it goes through. Yeah.